Hello, I'm Lee Suss, and welcome back to Sunny Clapful Nays. And a uh, lovely view of the mall here, it's not too busy, but I still be quite early in the morning. First of all, I want to say sorry for not uploading many videos recently. I, uh, nice view of the burger there. An upper sesame and lower sesame. Yeah, I've, um, I had some problems with City Skyrim. City Skyrim? <laughs> City Skylines. And I've been uploading nothing but Skyrim videos recently. That's because, not because I've had any technical problems, but because I started to re play, the, the, play the next version of this, the stage I'm at here, and record some, and the recording didn't work, and I don't know why. The second half recorded by uh, five. So, in my mind, I've done a whole bunch of things around here, and that haven't actually happened. Because I've gone back to an earlier save, otherwise you'd have missed them. And it's just frustrating. So, I'm a little irritated now, so I had to, I had to almost force myself to get back into into playing this. Not because I don't, don't want to play it, I don't want to do videos for you, but just because it's, I don't know, it's, it, I find it very frustrating to, to, have, to have things that uh, I've done and then not done after all. But anyway, let's just get on with this. I'll be back into it in no time. So the last, uh, then the last episode that you've seen, what I was doing was, I was trying, let's get out of cinematic view, I was sorting out roads. There's a whole lot of fixings needed required on various things here. So I've done bits and pieces off screen because I didn't want to, I, it might take me a bit of a long time to do them on screen, so I did them off screen. I don't think, for example, I've upgraded the, the off ramps of this to, uh, to to highways to improve the, not highways, to six lanes to improve the amount of traffic flow that can we go through here. I have this silly little connection here, which might or might not be useless, I don't know. Um, I've upgraded a whole number of roads around here. I was looking at flow of traffic over some time to see how things are passing through and therefore widen those roads and redirect people as required try and get them down here. I had another cargo, I, I wasn't originally going to add a cargo terminal, train terminal for, for Moo Moo Meadows, but um, I, I felt it, need, it was needed because there's a lot of heavy traffic coming through here so I put this in to alleviate it and various other things as well to improve the in the area. However, the black spot is still this original junction here because I can't upgrade this uh, this connection to the intersection on the, on the on the freeway, and really, what I really need is two. I need one for the the manufacturer and one over here to do a District 13 and everything else connected to it. But until I buy this area, I can't do that. And of course, the problem is that I can't buy the area until I get more people. And if I'm not careful, I get more people in. If they're going to be using this junction, it's going to get worse again. So for now, as you can see, it's fixed. It's okay. It's not too bad. Although I could possibly change this so that, and it's a way of doing this to get rid of all the junctions make it flow a bit more easily. Um, I'll look at that later. Again, I'll do that off screen, but you know, I can uh, I'll do that later. So, but anyway, the plan was for this episode. It might be a double episode, I'm not sure. Uh, what I was going to do was, I had some cleanups to do over here. Um, I had to put some more people in the city, but also, we're going to finally get a chance to do this, what I've been planning for so long, to get the Opera House in here and various other, you know, commercially type things in, in here to make this a very nice area to come and visit. Uh, and first of all, I built the circuit, well, roughly circular road around here, but it could probably do with upgrading a little. Um, and we were going to go to, what were we on? We're in four lane here. I was thinking, you might as well just go to six, because it's probably going to need it. Yeah, and we can make it with tree line, maybe? Yeah, why not? This be a very pleasant area to visit. And what I'm really hoping is, first of all, that I don't sneeze, which I'm going to do in a minute. Um, why not upgrading? There we go. Don't try and be special. Whoops. Uh, upgraded the road down there. That is the right road, isn't it? Yeah, it's the right one. Let's downgrade you again. To a four lane. Because you're not fitting in. I can't have you not fitting in. Because now we can downgrade roads as well. I'm sorry, I upset everybody there. Never mind. So there we go. And hoping now do this straight away, we can just get the Opera House in here as soon as possible. Oh, another new building I'll put in as well. Is that it? That's the Opera House there. And the idea was I was going to put it here. It should just fit opposite here. Is that about central? Looks like it. Done. There we go. And uh, when we connect it all up, we can have our first opening night and the the sounds were uh, the singing, well, beautiful singing, will like echo out over the lagoon. And that's it, I was going to name, name the lagoon as well. Let's give it another area. Um, we're going to call this. Oops, wrong was the wrong button. Let's get the angle right. 
was I going to call this area? There we go. Dale Heights? No. It's going to be the Silence Lagoon. For the beautiful singing that's going to echo out over here. That'd be good. It'd be nice to have an opening night soon. And we can... Uh, my events organiser has said that he's got some castrati books to come in. I've no idea what castrati are. They sound delicious. Uh, we could have... I don't know. I don't know any other. I've never been to the opera. I don't know any famous opera singers. Um, but we can get that... That blue lady out of uh, Fifth Element. The alien blue lady? You know what I mean? Maybe? That'd be interesting. I'll get the events organiser to book her in. I don't know. I, don't, I can't actually think of any opera singers right now. I'm sure I must know some. Probably not ones that are still alive. There's an awful bit of piping there. Let's get these connected up because I'm going to put loads of um, commercial type, type stuff around here. We want people to come in here to, uh, to go to the Opera House and then they can go. Oh, we need some power. Is power not connected? Is it not skipping across? Not quite, is it? It's not quite reaching across. Go for the shopping mall. Oh, don't be a pest, come on. I know what I'm going to do actually, I, can, I know I can connect this up. What I was going to do as well, I want a really big fancy park to go. Where's the really big park? Is that the really big one? To go across from here, that's not very big. I bought some new things in as well, and I'm going to put those in a large playground. There we go, what's this one called? A park with trees. A beautiful park opposite from the uh, opera house. There we go, I managed to sneeze and mute the... <laughs> that clicking noise was me muting. <laughs> muting the, uh, the sound because I was about to sneeze. There we go, good stuff. And that should be close enough to connect the opera house as well. Lovely. Now, what should we have near the Opera House? Well, the Opera House is a very noisy place, so we don't want to have residences right next to it. We could do with some more commercial. People can pop out the Opera House and go and do some shopping, buy their souvenirs, and their visit to Sunny Clacton. And of course, there's a bit of a shopping area that's turning out to be here. We should probably connect this in some way so they can get through to the shopping mall. Should I do that now? Oh, actually, no, we don't need to do that. We can... We can we can do is we can connect straight into here, can't we? Let's get the other road. Nice straight road, probably. We can come down from the opera house. And straight into this roundabout here. Excellent. That way they can get around up to the uh, to the shopping mall and the other shops up there fairly easily. That works out pretty well. I get some more industrial. Industrial, some more commercial over here. Excellent. We can also have some offices, which would be nice. So all the corporate people can sell sell tickets to the uh, to the opera to all their clients. Get them in there. Be nice, nice prestigious offices. And we're going to put some we'll put some dents. Some denser, what do you call it? Residential up here as well. Now, I was thinking about this the other day. I was thinking about, you know, high value properties by the waterfront. And to me, sadly, when I think of high rise, I don't really think of high value. And that's partly because of my generation. So I'm the generation in, in, in Britain of high rises uh, in the 60s and 70s, meaning dreadful concrete constructions. Um, the sort of architecture has been designed as brutalist <laughs> concrete slabs of buildings efficiently built I'm sure but very 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 grim looking uh, not very nice to look at or to live in very damp shaded concrete tower blocks but I shouldn't think like that I should think more in modern terms of of you know glass and steel they can you know they can be penthouses can be high value properties of course it's just uh, the way I think about things I'm, I, I need to just the way I think about what what a what a beautiful value what a beautiful property could look like. But we need to upgrade these still, otherwise we will get great concrete stuff. We want more things. Well, I don't know how value these are. Are they like? 
they're quite they're quite upgraded. They're not bad. Um, but we want more of those, more of these to look like more of those. So we probably need some more parks over here. I'm really, I'm so, I'm so tempted to put a road across here, but I'm just going to increase the amount of traffic. So what we really need is a junction that comes off over this way and joins in. But we'll, we can do that later. Not not yet, but we will do that. Uh, but for now, water really. You're okay for water, aren't you? Yeah, you're okay for water. You're fine. Lovely. That catch them all? Is it? Looks like it does. Good stuff. And what we can do then, we put some, put a park or something in here maybe. Another big park to make all these people happy. That's the large playground. That's the one we had last time. We can put it... Oh, it's really big. Look at that. We can put that here and make those people happy as well. And what we can actually do, if we put it here... We could maybe do is not put in a not in a road. We have a path that goes across like that. Excellent. And what else can we do around here? Let's just put some more. Let's put some more big residential. Well, we've got this uh, this active effect from this thing here. Let's put some more. I don't want to clog this road up too much, but let's put a few more in. I still got some of the demands. Oh, but it's burning down already. This is not good. And so like the Opera House. How is the fire coverage over here anyway? It's all right, I guess, isn't it? We could put a, we could preempt things and put a fire station all the way over here already to cover this lot. Where's our other one? There's, we've got the main fire station here. We could probably do one up here, really. Let's put them up here by the bridge. There we go. And the police. We've got a main police station there, but not one over here, so we can put a police station up here as well. And schools, just the usual, you know, the usual requirements for for schools and things. So put a spray a school, for a small. We can put in the high school as well. We've got a, what have we got here. We've got what is that? Is that the university there? Well, the university is somewhere else, isn't it? This, this is only showing primary schools, isn't it? So let's put a primary school. And actually, you know what? We've got a bit of space in here. Why don't I put in here some smaller roads? I mean, back it onto the shops a little bit. It's a good use of the space, though, and you've got access to the park. A little cul de sac there. And we can have another one. That's the best way to come off of here. Maybe one here, look. What I can do is... That's not what I want to do. I want to, want to curve this back a bit more. Have a little loop, like a little crescent get distracted again here, by the way. This is not what I wanted to be doing for this episode, but let's just get this done first. Otherwise I won't be happy. The sort of thing I do when I'm off screen, I fiddle around with things like this sometimes. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Fine. No, it's not fine at all. I can't. I can't be dealing with that. I can't be dealing with that. Let's just do it. Come on. Why? Why? Uh, you're frustrating me now, game. It's probably a bit close for the junction there. That'll do. It's a bit weird. But okay. It's fucking... Let's get some... Uh, what do you call it? Let's get some res dense, more dense residential in here. There's a little bit more. With the power lines go over the top. We can get rid of those power lines later. Good. A nice more commercial down here. Now, um, I'm not going to do any more with this yet. I've got some things I want to do over here. Before we go any further, I've got two unique things to put down. Um, now, one of them is in here. And one of them's a statue. It might be... Is that it? 
Statue of Wealth. How do we get this anyway? How do we earn this? Not sure. A sonification of the city's wealth. I thought this would be a great thing to I mean, it's a good thing to have around in the commercial district, I guess, but also, I think, you know, it's a good thing to have near the shopping mall as well. So I think we're going to put this in here. Another thing for people to come and visit. And we're going to put in some more shops to keep people happy. Build up this, uh, build up the shopping area a bit more around here. Everyone in here, in the shops, and popping into the mall. And we'll put in a few offices as well around here. Always need those. Good stuff. Now, the other one, the unique building, is very appropriate. Which is... Transport building, I think, is it? The transport building? Let's have a look. The transport tower. Transport Tower is a large office building specially meant for public transport companies. Excellent. Now this is very appropriate. I mean, we've put a quite a lot of effort into trains and uh, buses in this city, so I think it's very appropriate to fit in here. But I don't think... I remember trying to place this in my previous episode that never happened. That alternate reality I was talking about earlier. Uh, and I think it's going to have to come out here, is the answer. But we can expand... We can expand the donut a bit if it comes to the donut. The, uh, <laughs> I've been watching someone else's uh, cities, City Skylines. Um, expand the burger a bit more. I don't think we can fit it in here, can we? Not without knocking things down. No. We could go out the way over here. But I want to have the zone of control over this way. And then we can build some more offices near, I think. I mean, look at that. That's uh, That must be the biggest building we've got in the entire city. Let's get the angle right. Let's have a look. Oh, yes, by far. That's a real beast of a building. Very nice. Does that sound the front there? Just transport tower. Well, people want to have offices near here, won't they? That's the, exactly the sort of thing people need. So let us... If we can get some more... narrow streets around here. We bring one off of here, maybe. We can have some buildings that come... and surround the... Uh, around the tower. I maybe even get a park or something in there as well. This, uh, I think this look like this, these guys are a little bit not, not particularly well served with parks. Yeah, they're all, they're all red over here, aren't they? Let's, um, let's get something interesting. This is the, the sunken plaza. That could be quite nice. We could have this. What else have we got over here? Plaza with trees. That's a bit more city-like, isn't it? And one over here. And we'd have one somewhere in here. <gasps> oh, I thought it was going to fit for a second there. That would have been perfect. I just fit very well here, though. Excellent. And we can get some... What am I looking at? This one here? No, not low density commercial. We want... Some more office buildings in here. Let's just paint it in. That'll be easier. Not like that. This one. All up in here. There we go. Great stuff. And I'm presuming this has got water over here. Only... Well, not quite. Go. There we go. Good stuff. How is water looking? Water's looking a bit low. We probably need another... Put a sewage treatment plant in there soon. Can we squeeze that one in there? Excellent. That's on the pipes already. Sewage is getting a bit low. What we could do, we could put another one in here and turn this, turn this one off. I think it's probably the... Uh, be the answer. Squeeze you in tight. Excellent. Turn this one off. Off you go. And then we'll put a pipe in. Need a pipe to connect. And back. Let's 
get it online. Sewage treatment's gone to the floor at the moment. Don't panic, everybody. Pups are backing up, but don't worry. Ooh, it's only just dealt with, isn't it? Only just... How much do these cost per week? Um, 6.40 per week. What's this one here? Water pumping. 3.20 per week. Yeah. Well, what's the difference like on the... Uh... Sorry about that, slight distraction there. Okay, now let's see. We've got... How much is this dealing with? It's dealing with 16... Was it 160,000 metre cubed per week? And this is dealing with... 120,000 metre cubed per week. Ah, uh, excuse me. Um... Ah, ooh, my brain's not working. Okay, <laughs> essentially maybe we need to have one of these back. Oh, we can turn one of these back on again if it comes to it. I think we're okay for now. My brain's not working well enough for that. So, I think this is this is uh, this is doing okay over here. I think we can we can come back to this. What I would like to do though, something a bit different for the rest of this episode, which is the industrial demand. And just before we do that, so uh, how's power doing? That relates to that as well. Okay, so we've got a little bit of manoeuvring to do over here first. Power's getting a bit low, so what I'm thinking we want to do next is get in one of these beasts, a solar power plant. Now this is about 160 megawatts, I think it is. So, and by comparison, the oil is about 120 megawatts, so it's pretty darn good. I mean, I'd very, very much like to have one, have one of these in here. I don't know what the what difference it makes on different maps about how effective the the solar power plant is, but it's quite a tropical map here, quite sunny, so um, I imagine it's working pretty well. I imagine it pretty works on all the maps, as far as that goes, but there we go. Uh, now, I'm thinking about putting it over here somewhere. I don't want to put it near the road. I mean, not because I can't put it near the road, I can put it wherever I like, pretty much, but just because I'm thinking this thing is a... Uh, it's probably got quite a glare to it. I don't think you'd want that near the road, would you? It's got basically a great big set of mirrors shining on a central central water tank or something, and heating the water up to turn it to steam. I think that's the idea we've got going on here. You wouldn't want the next to the road, would you? It pretty caused quite a glare, quite a danger, having that next to the road. So let's keep it over here. Um, and I'm sure it needs water. Good stuff. But while we're here, though, I think we can make a little power alley over here. So these poor people over here keep getting sick, and what's your problem now? You're complaining about something. The rubbish. Citizens are sick. Yeah, you're so close to the industrial district. All this pollution. The poor park is dying, and this thing is part of the problem. Disgusting oil power plant. So we're moving it over here. So all the dirtiness can be over here in the in the industrial or expansion over here. And I don't think we'll be buying this area over here. I might do it at some point, but I don't think so. So we'll do the usual SimCity trick of uh, moving all the dirt so that all the pollution blows into someone else's territory, and it's their problem to deal with instead. This one is now... that's starting to fill up again. Let's empty that quickly and we will move... what's this? Frank's Fish Stick Factory and an Ice Cube Factory. If we can, we might just dezone these actually. I think I'm going to do it. Uh, should I do it? I mean it should improve a bit over here now that the there's a gap between the industrial, but I think we're going to dezone this. We are. That's what we're going to do. Sorry Frank's Fish Stick Factory and whatever else you are over here. You guys are gone. Gone, 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 and we can expand. We're going to build some more industrial anyway, and we can expand over here to uh, reduce the amount of pollution that's happening over here. And also, these are we'll we'll move this incinerator as well, and that can go. And that and the landfill. I'm going to be careful about this actually because I could uh, I could cause some problems with traffic. We've got a lot of bin lorries and things coming out of there to take the stuff away. But is this now empty? But he's empty. He must be nearly done. Oh, actually, it's actually a lot more full than I thought it was there. 37%. This one is also filling up. Can I empty this as well? Would that be too much? How's it looking for the rubbish? If I do this, landfill usage. Just build one more incinerator over here. Because incinerators make power as well, so we can. Uh, we're probably going to carry a bit of traffic through here as those things empty out, but it's not a bad idea, I don't think, doing that. 
and this one can be close by for a bit longer. So you guys, I'm, I'm working on it slowly, I'm trying to clear this up, and as, once we've got this, we'll leave this a bit more empty, we'll have a nice little area splitting off the industrial. The industrial won't get any further than, than over here.